In this tutorial, you will learn every tool that we generally used, uh, use in Gotcha Photos to do um, things with tutorials. The first tool that we're going to teach you about is the Polygon tool. Now, first of all, this is the tool palette and whenever you click on a tool, based on how you have your uh, uh, Photoshop set up, um, I have mine where my options palette is up here at the top so it's always up there and so when I click on a tool the options palette changes to tell me what tool I've clicked on and it gives me things I can do based on that so if I have the magic wand it gives me the tolerance of the magic wand if I have the but let's start with the polygon tool okay so the polygon tool is basically a selection tool it selects certain things and lets you do it now the what we use the polygon tool for the most and I will do this real quick I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because you'll get to see what I'm doing if you want to watch the video over and over and over please do it I don't want to spend a lot of time I just want to I just want to go through a few things and um, and go from there so what we're going to want to do with the polygon tool basically is um, the polygon tool is used for making selections okay the the rectangular tool here or the oval tool all these are also used for making selections so selections there is a selections tutorial which we'll talk more about selections and what that means and but the polygon tool will allow you to select certain areas so let's say we wanted to select this the cap and gown picture and put it over here on the um, on this other picture in order to make a multiple exposure okay if we wanted to do that what we would do is we would grab our polygon tool and I would begin to go over here to her deal to her picture and I will begin to select now the polygon tool only goes in straight uh, deals it does not it absolutely does not I zoomed in it absolutely does not make any other deals so when you're doing the polygon tool you can go like for example here I will go and I'm scooting over there I'll go around this and make it look round but in reality it's really short straight lines that I'm selecting okay so I'm selecting around. I'm going to show you that a little close. So when you want to make it perfect, you zoom in and you start making short, short. I'm clicking. I'm going click, click. Okay, I'll say click because I'm sure you can't hear my mouse. Click, 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 click. Now I did a long one. Click. So it's, 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 it's letting me do steps. Now if I mess up with my clicks, let's say I messed up. I'm going to zoom out so I don't have to go back so far like I'm doing. If I mess up, I can hit the delete button and it'll go back okay so but if I want to click so what the polygon tool allows me to do is select round now when you want to select you need to select good I'm not selecting good here for the purpose of this video I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rest but if you were to do this you would need to go through and select this out the proper way you would need to zoom in real good and make sure it doesn't look boxy see how that looks boxy there we want to go back and come back in and round it out. Watch, look, got a little boxy, but rounded it out. Look, it makes it look like it was actually round because I'm going to click, click, small clicks, not long clicks, small clicks when you're trying to make it round. Now, what if, when do you need to do long clicks? I'm going to go and zoom out now. Now, if I'm going, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Now, if I'm going to the shoulder right here, I can do long clicks over here. I can even cut into the blue because nobody knows it wasn't there. Alright, so I'm doing longer clicks because it's not as detailed, there's not as many curves, okay? Now, this is what the selection tool does. Uh, this is what the polygon tool does. I'm not going to select that because the perfectness of it is not the issue here. When you're doing a picture, the perfectness of it is the issue. Okay, so we can select around, we select all the way, and you notice I'm not even doing it perfect at all, I'm just kind of jumping through something. Okay, now we've selected a whole cap and gown, right? Now there's several things with now that we've used the polygon tool to make a perfect selection. Look, now I'm going to add to the selection by holding the shift button down and start a new selection. Go down, 
go back in and now it added to the selection. See what I just did? I can also subtract from the selection by holding the Alt button down and going in and clicking like that. Now this is not selected. Everything else is, but this isn't. I'm going to undo that because I don't want that. Now, so I have the selection. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to select a certain area? Well, I may want to brighten up a certain area and I can go to my levels and just brighten up or darken up a certain area. Or I may want to, like I want to do here, which you would do often, I may want to copy that area. So I'll go to edit, copy, and I'll go to another picture and go edit, paste. Whatever I selected just popped over there and now I have it over there. See? And now I can put this down there. I'm going to do something with a layer real quick. We'll talk about layers later so uh, be mindful of that. Okay? And so if I want to do that I can take this layer move it over there. That layer right there. There you go. So that is what the polygon tool is useful for. So the first tool we're teaching about we taught about is the polygon tool. Now with the polygon tool, another tool that you use also is, uh, well, now I, I need to go back to the polygon tool. The polygon tool, if you'll notice, when I select it, it has this deal up here called feathering. Feathering is a blending mode. Now, I had zero feathering. That meant it cut it right up on the edge. There was no blending. But if I, now I'll show you. You see how that, if you go over here, where we selected, then we copied, you look at the edge, it's a hard edge right there. But if we did the same type of selection with the polygon tool, we're going to deselect. That means take the selection out. We got the polygon tool, and let's cut, let's put in a, a a broad feather five, which is a big feather. And we're just going to select a little area, not a big area, just so you'll see. We're going to select around the cap, just like we did before. Up, oh, zoomed in too far. We don't need to be zoomed in that to show you this. Okay, so we're going to select around the cap. We're just selecting a little bit just so you'll see the difference. Boom. Okay, we got that set. We're going to edit, copy again. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to zoom out. We're going to fit on screen. And we're going to edit and paste. Now, you see that cap there? Let's compare the two. All right, so we're going to put this one here and that one there. Let's compare the two. Now, this one has a five feathering on it and this one has zero. Let's look at it. See the difference? The difference is this one has that large, it says, see it kind of blends into the picture. Whereas this one is like a hard cut. See how it blends? It even blends over there. So that's what feathering is. It's a blending in or it's kind of, it just kind of selects some and it blends together, you know. So that's what feathering is. So when you select the polygon tool, you have your feathering and there's a lot of feathering is, a, your feather tolerance is something that's used quite a bit. Now, the next tool that we're going to talk about is the magic wand tool, which is also a selection tool. Now, we're going to select deselect. We're going to go to the magic wand tool. Now, the magic wand tool selects based on colors. Whatever color you click on, it selects as many colors as it can close to that color um, based on the tolerance. Remember, this is the options palette. And if you don't have your options palette up here, you can go to Windows and click um, options. See mine disappeared because I have mine up there and click options and it, some people show up down here as a little box kind of like this or whatever uh, all that. Okay so we have the magic wand tool selected if we we, we want to select, say I want to select this yellow, just the yellow and I want to change that yellow to red. Okay I will use the magic wand and I could go in and just select yellow. Look it didn't select much yellow. Let's say white. We select the white. It selected, see how that white is selected? But right here it wasn't too white. Okay, so that's what the magic wand tool selects. So what if I wanted to select more white? Come on, man, give me more white. So we're going to select, deselect, and we're going to change our tolerance. We're going to raise our tolerance to 100. No, I can raise it to 401. We're going to raise it to 100. Now, if I raise my tolerance to 100 and I have my polygon tool still and selecting that white, Bam! Look how much it selected that time. It selected more because I had my polygon tool on 100. And I selected more. Now I held the shift button down and added to the selection. If I held the alt button down, it would subtract from the selection. Look at that. See, the, um, see how the uh, polygon tool changed? If I held the shift button down, right there by the polygon tool, you see a little plus sign. Meaning it's ready to add to the selection. So I can select this white in here and it would select that and they're both selected. 